no matter how many times we see this done on the internet, it never gets old. People dressing up for uh, someone that you wouldn't expect them to be and just making fun of those around them by just being amazing at what they do. We've seen it with uh, Old Man uh, Drew, you know right? It, you know it. Drew. Uncle Drew. Uncle Drew. Old Man Drew. Same thing. Can't Uncle play around Drew. with these kids, Uncle Drew. Uh, Uncle Drew. And then uh, I think Kevin Garnett. Oh, Kevin Garnett. What? What? Who? What? Where? <laughs> <laughs> Who's it? Kev uh, Kevin Garnier? The the Sean Garnier. What the fuck, Francis? Garnier Fructis. <laughs> Sean Garnier, the freestyle football did it with uh, in the in the cage. But that one I think was way staged. This one was really authentic. Cristiano Ronaldo goes through the streets of Madrid. Who? Who? That? Yeah, Chris Cristiano Ronaldo. I think he likes to be called Ronaldo. The Brazilian footballer. Yeah, that's him. That's him. If you walk through the streets of Spain, mm. and I think this one's authentic. Take a look. Mostra o que sabes fazer, dribles, assim. Uh. Uh, uh. Toma, toma. Está bem, muito bem. Igor, um minuto. Como te chamas? Nicolás. Well, that of course was uh, mobbed. That was it was mobbed by it, and that was brought to you by uh, Monster. So uh, stay tuned for a little TYT Monster collaboration. Now you can head over to Monster Products and watch the full video. Um, we'll leave a link in the description for that. But uh, that was authentic, right? You could tell, like. For one, what's the odds that that girl who rejected Ronaldo's number is sitting in a pit of depression right now? <laughs> She's going to her therapist. She's like, going, she, I didn't know it was him. Xanax. It's all in the, it's all in the eyes. I think he had sunglasses on. You gotta, you gotta understand his, his jaw or something, or his smell. He didn't have a jaw, he had a huge beard. Right, well, you just, gotta, you just gotta be aware. His you gotta smell. smell him. You gotta know that that's the Ronaldo smell. That's the smell of greatness, but not of ultimate greatness. A few things. One, if I was in Madrid and I saw that happening in the street, I would have been, holy shit, Pirlo got fat. <laughs> I still want to hang out with him. Because he looked a lot like Andre Pirlo in my opinion. I think that that's, one. Yeah. Uh, num yeah. Number two, the woman is going to really, really regret that. Do you think the kid actually kicked the ball away from Ronaldo or you think Ronaldo let the oh, kid? Oh no, he let him kick it away. There's no doubt. But that's all fair play. Like This is one thing that you want to talk about when it comes to Cristiano. Like I've seen, uh, to be honest, I didn't know much about Kyrie Irving before I seen the video. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm positive he's probably a great guy. But with this, it fits well and resonates well with me because Ronaldo, as much as he might come across as the bad guy on the field, he's such a nice guy to, especially the kids. Like he goes out of his way to, to go and help out sick kids. He signs a lot of uh, merchandise for kids. And he, he really is just a great role model, I think, for footballers. And he, he stands by that. And I think that that's why it resonates so well. If, there was, if you were to see this happen in the street, I think for one, I would have stood by because I know by now how many videos have right, been of these. Right, like, right. If I see someone a little bit better than what they should be with the ball, I'm going to be like, all right, I'm holding out. And then I might just be there for five hours and it might just be an everyday guy. And that's yeah. a day wasted for me. Uh, I would want to be Ronaldo's agent. Because Ronaldo, do you, hear what, do you hear what Ronaldo's uh, bought his agent? Yeah, I heard it. Just a Greek island. Nice. Where's Not my mine. island. I prefer Hawaiian, but that's okay. <laughs> But if, if I get, if I, rise to, if I rise to fame, please don't expect me to buy you an island. I'm expecting an island. <laughs> I'm expecting two islands. I'll tell you what, I'll buy you a tropical island margarita mix. <laughs> Unbelievable. Same thing. 
Same thing. I don't want a fucking margarita mix. But you mix. can get drunk and then imagine that you're on an island. Or you can be a good guy and buy me an island where I can get tropical margarita mix and drink it and not have to pretend. All right. Besides, the margarita mix doesn't even come with the alcohol. I'll hold you to it. Oh, yeah. That's so you're just gonna get me a, a sugar you're just gonna get me sugary ass chopped up ice in a... Don't say I don't love you. Jug? Don't say I don't love you, man. There's your sugary ass. There's your sugar rush. Thanks for standing by me. <laughs> Yeah, here's a pixie stick. <laughs> All right, well, we want to know what you guys think. Is this is this topic getting a little bit too old, then, perhaps? We've done this, seen this many times, or is this just as great as I think it is? Because when it comes to Cristiano Ronaldo, I don't think you can do much wrong, especially when it's surprising kids on the street like this. Let us know what you guys think in the comment section below. And as always, from TYT Sports, be sure to subscribe. And as I said, you can head over to Monster and watch the full video there. We cut it down a little bit for you guys. Thanks again.